Hey, it's the Chief, Bonnie with Board Games, and I was talking to PSC Games. I was talking to them about the Great War, and I, I actually was asking about expansions, because I'd heard the tank expansion had been out for a while, but I hadn't seen it. So they said, we'll send it to you, and they're going to have another expansion coming out in a few months that will include French forces. So, um, we'll end up zooming in. The shrink came a little bit loose on this when I was just pulling it out of the box, but it's still in the shrink, and they sent the little Whippet as well, the Whippet tanks. So we'll get to look at how the first mechanical beasts uh, end up interacting with the Great War in Trench Warfare, Richard Borg. We'll go in and take a closer look. All right, we're going to be coming in here, and the quicker I can get the shrink off, the less glare I'm going to have, but I wanted to show you a few things so you can see the German tank in the background here. All right, British tank. I'll show you the back. Wow, glare's terrible. Sorry. Let me get the shrink off. We'll take a little better look, and I'll show you the box. So pull this off. So first of all, wow, I'm all over the camera. Sorry. Um... Great thing with the, I'm going to call it the command and color system, is the expandability. And so that's one thing I look for in, uh, in Richard Borg's systems, is that, you know, what kind of expansions are you going to be able to get? What happens with this game? Hello, I cannot get the lid off. Hello. Come on. Oh. You can barely see it. It's actually got a sticker right there. We would have done some damage. Hold on. Cut. All right. Nothing a pair of Fiskers can't fix. So I'm going to have to, I'm going to tell you, my uh, OCD-ness is going to have to clean off that tape here in a little bit. But that's going to make this box a lot easier to open. So let's see what's inside. Um, all right. Pretty thick rule book here. Let's see if I can keep from bumping my handle. Sorry. We got 43 pages. Looks like we're looking at 40 scenarios. You're going to have your introduction. Let me see again if I can keep glare off, uh, including some of the components that are going to be in here. What do we look at? Uh, fortified positions, some different terrain tiles, clearly. I'm looking for the tanks. Let's see what we got. All right, there we're explaining tank movement. So we got a lot of text. Here we go. All right, again, I am apologizing. I'm working late at night, and I got a little bit too much glare coming in. Let me work on my lighting. Hold on. All right, so we can list through the uh, scenarios we're going to have. Uh, scenario 19 through 40 is what you're going to pick up here. You can see beautiful display. Get that out of the way. We've got our terrain summary card and our unit summary card. There's two of them. If I can get them to separate out. Uh, glossy, uh, lighter card stock, but nice and glossy. Great feel, good touch. Let's see what kind of terrain tiles we All right, beautiful. It's what I always love. Easy, easy to punch out. Big and chunky. These are falling out as I'm pulling them out of the box. So you're not going to be spending a whole lot of time working on that or tearing them as you go. You can see we've got what look like some rivers here. And again, they're falling out. We got fortified positions. You can see these have fallen out even as they ship, and they're falling out as I move them. Love it. All right, now this looks great already. So, uh, PSC has got nice little foam in here to protect these tanks. Let's take a look. Well, that is cool. It's kind of stuck in there even. Wow, these are super nice. That is a lot more detail than I was expecting. I actually thought these were going to be just kind of a rough plastic, kind of what I'm used to from Memoir 44. Wow, these are 
These are fancy dancy. Well, that is cool. All right, let me see. All right, so they're just going to fit down in there. Whoops, I don't want to drop it and break it now. That is cool. Let's take a look at this one. They're kind of pressed in there nicely. You can see the indentation. Well, these are super neat. <laughs> All right. Wow, that is, I did not expect that much detail. All right, let me get that terrain piece out. We're going to continue down. Oh, beautiful. Get your guns on the side. They're fixed in place. Wow, these are really nice. Lovely, lovely detail. Let me get that kind of back into its spot. We're going to work on down the line. All right. They're kind of, they've got a bit of heft to them. Those are really fancy. All right, same. Oh. Super cool. All right, let's see what's in this middle tray here. All right, we've got Get them to let go, let go. All right, we'll end up having to punch these fellows out, put them together. See if you can, it's easier to see those against the white background. So we've got some cannons that look like they're on. Just kind of old-fashioned limber with the uh, with the wheels, the carriage, the uh, the front armor shield, and then your troops right down to the I don't know I forget what they have like the scoops that keep it uh, braced when it fires. That's interesting. And it looks like same goes here. Take a look. Yep, just sits. All good. Beautiful. Well, those, my friends, are impressive. And I love the detail and the way they come packaged to keep them safe. So, there you go. The Great War, the tank expansion, and love the art. Who did the art? That just brings you the feel. Can't wait to get these guys into action and see how it changes up gameplay. See you guys. And I almost forgot. I've got the Whippet. we got to pull out the Whippet here. The Whippets. Look at these guys. All right. So I'll pull these little fellas out so you can get a good, good look. Get a good cross section. Lovely. Wow. Gonna have to watch these. Very, very cool. Let's just set them here. And we'll get them out. And then let's just see exactly. All right. It's simply just bubble wrap and then just a, uh, a way to keep them safe. And I'm going to have to see which way I'm going to store these fellas. 
they may just have to stay right in here. That's pretty good. Because they've got, if you can see, especially against the white background, the little guns are what I would be afraid of snapping off. Wow, these are gorgeous. But, I got I mean, PSC, uh, the Plastic Soldier Company, this is what they do. So, I mean, they are masters at making plastic models. Soldiers, tanks, whatnot. So it shouldn't surprise me that the quality is this good. I guess what, what gets me is I'm used to playing like Memoir 44. I mean, if you've got Command and Colors, it's blocks, but Memoir 44 has got the little soldiers, but everything's kind of a rough plastic where this, these, these tanks are just gorgeous. So there we go. There's our tanks.